Hi Aries, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am here to bring you another love read. I'm feeling generous today Aries, so I'm coming in with your 48 hour messages, love messages for the next 48 hours. Do keep in mind it is a general reading, take what you need from this, leave what doesn't apply. If you feel that you're connecting to the messages Aries, be sure to show your support. The best way you can do that is by hitting that like button, sharing this video and or subscribing. Uh, don't forget to mention uh, in the comments section what zodiac sign you're connecting to in love as well, if you're dealing with anyone that is. But otherwise, I'm going to give these cards a quick shuffle and then we're going to see what your messages are over the next 48 hours concerning love, relationship and everything in between. Okay, so Spirit Angels and Guides, what messages do you have for our Aries here today who are tuning in regarding love over the next 48 hours? Okay, okay, first card coming through Aries is the Nine of Cups. Okay, you're hoping for some kind of wish to manifest. You have a wish here, uh, it's your heart's desire and you're hoping for it to come to fruition or come to light. The Nine of Cups is a, a card, especially in this card, this woman, she is overjoyed, okay? She's got so much joy in her heart because her wish is coming true. So there is something here that you desire for yourself in love, and it appears that you're going to get this. Okay, um, it's coming true here. It's going to be fulfilled. An emotional wish that you have is going to be fulfilled. This is emotional happiness. So over the next 48 hours, Aries, you're going to feel emotionally elated. You're going to feel emotionally like you're on that, you know, cloud nine. We've got the sun in the background, which speaks to, you know, loads and loads of joy emotional joy, emotional fulfillment. Okay, um, look at this, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups can speak to a potential new lover. So there may be someone new around you who is bringing in a wish fulfillment. The Ace of Cups can also speak to a new emotional chapter or emotional new beginnings. And I feel like this emotional new beginning is bringing in a lot of joy and happiness. This is an abundance of joy and emotional happiness. You can see in this card, this woman, she's holding this um, bowl very close to her chest. So again, it's a heart's desire. It's something that you have longed for. And it it seems like it's it's happening. It's happening for you over the next 48 hours. There may be someone who is giving their heart over to you as well, or there is someone here that is opening their heart up to you, Aries. And if this is something that you have longed for um, and you have waited for, it's certainly going to put you in a really good mood. It's like, ah, oh, finally they're opening their heart up to me. I'm also seeing this as your heart chakra expanding. So for some of you Aries tuning into this reading, your heart chakra is expanding over the next 48 hours. It's like a swelling of the heart. It's beautiful. Um, it's like a heart full feeling. It's like my heart feels so full. It feels so contented. Spirit Angels and Guides, what messages do you have for our Aries tuning in here? Eight of Cups. This really comes at a really great time because the Eight of Cups is telling me here that you haven't been happy for quite some time. Okay, 
you haven't been happy for quite some time. Eight of Cups is I feel unfulfilled. And we can see this woman, she's walking to towards the sun. So you're walking towards your happiness. You're seeking your happiness here. Now on your journey towards the sun, something is going to manifest here. It's bringing um, a, a heart wish. It's bringing a desire. It's bringing you something that you've longed for. And in the process of leaving something behind or walking away, you walk into a new beginning here and an emotional new beginning. So for some of you Aries, over the next 48 hours, your happiness is what's most important. You're looking at your love life and you're like, you know what, what's most important to me is my happiness. And you are with essentially with the Ace of Cups. This is like, I, my heart is in my hands and I will do with it what I please. And what you're actually doing for some of you Aries is you're finally letting go or you're walking away from a, a situation that no longer makes you happy because you want your happiness. You, you deserve happiness. Happiness is... It's your right. It's a right. Okay, you have the two of wands here. So as you walk away from something that's unsatisfactory or unfulfilling, uh, you come to a crossroad. So over the next 48 hours, you may be at some kind of crossroad here. And this is an important crossroad because your happiness, your personal happiness, a personal wish or a desire is what's at stake. Now, whatever path you decide to go down, it's going to bring major change. This decision that you're about to make here over the next 48 hours is going to almost be like life transforming for you. Yeah. Oh, there we have it. There's the page of pentacles. For some of you, you may be connecting to an earth sign here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Don't have to be, but for some of you, that's a message that spirit wants you to hear. Uh, you could be waiting for some kind of an offer, Aries. You might be waiting for some kind of an offer, an offer that's going to bring you more stability, more security uh, in a relationship. For others of you, you're, you know, you're making some kind of decision um, that involves greater stability or greater security in love. Okay, because at the moment, this page, he's standing on one foot. How long can he stand on this one foot for until that foot becomes numb, sore and tired? Okay, he needs two feet to stand on. He needs his two feet firmly planted on the ground. I feel you're on your way there. It's just that whatever you decide here will get you your two feet firmly planted on the ground. Because right now, yeah, the Eight of Cups and the Page of Pentacles is telling me here you're not happy. You want greater stability. You feel, you feel like something is shifting underneath you. Okay, you're ready to make a move. Oh, look at this. Six of Cups. There may be someone missing you over the next 48 hours, I do have to say. Um, this is Six of Cups is a card of nostalgia. It's a card of memories. 
There may be someone here that you are thinking about, maybe someone from your past. Or otherwise, Aries, you're longing for a soulmate here with the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is that past life connection. You know, it's like a connection that you have to someone that feels like you've known them for lifetimes and lifetimes. But yeah, like I said, with these two of wands here, you're at some kind of a major crossroad. This is what you're seeking. You're seeking this connection with someone that you can grow old with, maybe even have children with. And I feel that on your way to greater stability and security, I feel that you're going to you're going to bump into this person or you're going to meet this person. There may be someone for a small portion of you, Aries. There may be someone from your past coming back in. Okay. I feel like this person is in two minds about whether or not they should reach out to you. But I get a sense with the Page of Pentacles that this person wants to reach out. I feel like it might be someone that you maybe just lost contact with or someone that was going in a different direction at the time. But hearing from this person is going to make you very happy. So let's go in and clarify. I'm going to come in and clarify with the same cards. Let's clarify the Nine of Cups. Okay, we've got our card. Yeah, look at that, Six of Wands. This is a card of victory, Six of Wands. This is success and victory. So yeah, whatever you desire over the next 48 hours, you can expect to achieve success and victory with this. Okay, there may be someone coming in, um, showering you with attention. You can see this woman, she's in the spotlight here and she's loving being in the spotlight okay so there may be someone showering you with a lot of attention okay spirit angels and guides let's expand on the ace of cups tell us more what's this ace of cups There's the seven of wands. For others of you, yeah, this is about your heart and what's going to make you happy. The seven of wands to me is, a, it's like that pink bubble energy. You know, what's no good for me, I'm just going to put a pink bubble around me to protect my energy. It's kind of like that. So Aries, it could be something like energetic boundaries that you're setting for yourself because your happiness is important to you. Okay, everyone deserves happiness. And yeah, this is just saying here with the seven of wands that, you know, whoever's not good for you does not get to come close to your, does not get to step foot inside your personal space. So I see you kind of putting this pink bubble around you, protecting your energy. Yeah, let's take a look at this Eight of Cups. Spirit, angels and guides, tell us more about this Eight of Cups. There's a judgment card. The judgment card is like the final wake up call. It's like maybe you've received this wake up call for quite some time. Maybe the signs have been there. Okay, the universe has been giving you sign after sign after sign, but you're, you've been saying, no, I'm waiting for a signy, a sign, lol. <laughs> but the judgment card is like, no, we've been giving you the signs and now it's like, it's time to heed the sign. It's time to heed the call. And so what that, heeding that call is walking away. Okay, walking away. Because if you stay in the same situation, you kind of you're going to continue to get what you've always gotten. So the judgment card is essentially this is the wake up call. Let's expand on the two of wands. Ah, there's the page of swords. For some of you, you might be thinking about an air sign here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There may be an air sign spying on you. Um, the Page of Swords is a card of curiosity. There's someone that 
um, has piqued your curiosity or you've piqued this person's curiosity. This is someone who wants to get to know you better or vice versa. Um, I feel like you're gathering all the information and all the facts. You know, it's the two of wands. So you're at this major crossroad. Okay, you're trying to gather all this information that you need to make this important decision. Because I'm telling you, this decision that you're about to make is life changing in regards to your love life or in regards to your relationship or in regards to this connection. And even this page, he's walking on his tippy toes. So it's kind of like, oh, you're just treading carefully. You're trying to make the best decision for yourself or someone is trying to make the best decision for themselves here. Okay, let's expand on the page of pentacles. Also too, the page of pentacles is I'm not going to give my heart to just anybody. I'm going to give it to someone with the three of pentacles that I can see myself growing with building a life with someone who wants the same thing as me three of pentacles this is a card of learning and growth okay so this is um, the next 48 hours might bring you some learning and growth uh, just naturally flows off of that okay this is also a card of collaboration two people who want the same things meeting in the middle Let's expand on the Six of Cups. Spirit, angels and guides, tell us more about this Six of Cups. Tell us more about this Six of Cups. There's the World card. Yeah, I feel like someone who maybe you lost contact with, with the World card is coming back around. Yeah, is coming back around. There is someone here with the World card that you might meet Um maybe on your travels, maybe the two of wands here. I did see, I did see a little combi van here and the, the world here. So you might be thinking of traveling. You might be thinking of, you know, moving locations over the next 48 hours because you're, you're in search of love. Now the world card tells me here for some of you, that's where you're going to find love. You're going to find love on your travels on holidays, um, making a major move, okay, the world, this is major move, this is a major move, maybe you're looking to move overseas or interstate, but it's you're, you, you might be meeting someone here that comes from a very different background to yourself with the world card. You may be, the world can also speak to the world wide web, so if you if you are looking to, you know, getting online, dating online, you've got Page of Swords, a world card that would indicate, you know, online dating apps. You just may, may meet a very special person that you feel that you have that instant connection with online. Okay, that's not going to speak to every Aries out there, but for some of you, this is what I see. But otherwise, over the next 48 hours, you've got someone here that makes you feel like you are the center of their universe. So let's see uh, what else the angels want to say here. The moon Let's take a look at the Moonology Oracle cards for some last parting messages. Okay, show the world the real you. So this is just saying here, be honest with yourself, be truthful to yourself, because that's when good things happen, okay? You've got full moon in Aquarius. For some of you, you may be strongly connecting to an Aquarian. And look at this, now you've got new moon in Aquarius. So for some of you, there's a strong Aquarian around you here that is part of your destiny that is destined to come into your life 
or who is destined to be a part of your life. Bring love into the situation. There is an Aquarius that is bringing love into the situation. Now this person may have their moon sign in Aquarius or their rising sign in Aquarius or they might have Venus in Aquarius, but I get strong Aquarian vibes strong Aquarian vibes. Aquarius is very unique, eccentric, different. They may just carry strong characteristic traits of the Aquarian nature here. Okay, let's see what the angels wanna say about all of this. Spirit angels and guides. What messages do you have for our, look at this, we've got healing. Okay, for some of you, this is a time of heart healing or this person that is coming in is helping to heal. Look at this, we've got new beginnings. For some of you, there's a wonderful new beginning, a new chapter, a new person coming into your life. We've got study. Okay, um, that's my personal development card and we've got romance. Okay, study is lessons, learning. What can I learn from this? What can I learn from the situation? What am I learning? What am I gaining? Uh, what are my takeaways? That's what the study card is saying. Romance is you're finding love, you're finding romance. This is a romantic connection. This is two people who are coming together feeling romantically attracted to one another. Okay, for some of you who have been missing romance out of your love life, um, you're certainly going to have more love. Uh, you're, going to, you're certainly gonna have more romance in your love life. Look at this, new beginnings and, and romance. Okay, so if you are strongly coupled up here, I definitely see romantic nights. I see romantic dates. This is just two people spending quality time together and it's feeling blissful and it's feeling romantic and it does feel like it's a new beginning. So there we have it, Aries, that's your reading. I do hope that was insightful and helpful. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if it spoke to you here today. And until my next video, take care.